What's good, gang? It's your boy, once a little bands, back with another reaction. And today, 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 we got the Deadly War and Camden, Active Gang versus 51st. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really understand what's going on here. I don't really understand too much. Y'all told me I need to check this out. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and read the comment. Some one of y'all, one of y'all told me that he this uh suspect. Suspect got two bodies and serving a life sentence right now. That's what one of y'all told me. That's what got me a little interested. That got me a little interested, but this person right here, he said he should do a backstory behind this guy. Active Gang versus 51st by Kid Nerd. So, he got the video pulled up to check it out, you know what I'm saying, to see what's going on. I know this happened like two years ago, and I'm late to it, but, uh, hey, better late than never, right? At least, I, at least I'm about to learn, you know what I'm saying? We're just gonna get straight into it. If y'all enjoyed this video, y'all need to do, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below y'all thoughts, and comment down below what y'all like me to react to next. I'll get to it ASAP. I been doing videos every day. Couple of the bands, straight into it. Two men have been stabbed to death in two separate attacks in Kentish Town in North London last night. The two body of the first victim, attacks. believed to be in his late teens, was found a couple of hours before police discovered the second victim, who's thought to be in his 20s. Camden, the heart of fashion two and culture in London, attacks. with some of the two most expensive deaths. house prices and biggest tourist attractions in England. And from the outside in, it looks like the perfect place to live. But well, that's what the government wants to show you. Once we go deeper into the lower income estates of the borough, we start... Hey, let's, let's be real, though. I feel like they are... They they don't, they don't always have somewhere dangerous. Like even the safest places in in the world got some some dangerous places in that area. Let's just keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? A different so, story. A story of the country's most deprived estates in London being separated from roads of millionaires literally by one street, and how these estates have created a deadly gang war which has taken over the borough in recent years. But before I get into the video, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Let's get into the video. I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna like it at least. I might at least like it. Freak. There you go. I like the video, yo. So it better be a good video. So Camden is a borough in northwest London and is very, very close to the centre of London. But despite the area being so close to the rich centre of the capital, in the last few years, the war in the area has been going brazy. So historically, unlike neighbouring areas like Islington and Brent, Camden's beef situation hasn't been as active as others. But this all changed around 2016, when a man from Camden called Merce had his watch stolen from another man from another area in Camden. After this, there was some back on... This really started from a watch, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Some of these beef, like some of these beefs, start over the stupidest stuff, like K Flock and uh and Eat Our Baby or DOA versus uh OY beef just started just because of freaking um Eat Our Baby smoked with the ops, and he was high. He didn't really under he didn't even know what was going on. He was it was an accident, you know what I'm saying? But they beefing over that and. Now blood, not not people died in that, so it ain't gonna end. Which resulted in a big still, rivalry in the borough, literally between groups. Over a watch is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Over a watch had his watch stolen from another man from another area in Camden. After this, there was some back and forth, which resulted in a big rivalry in the borough, literally between groups of kids that grew up together. One side being gangs built up from a few estates in Camden, which were the Peckwater Gang from the Peckwater Estate, the QC Gang, which were from a road in Camden called Queens Crescent, and Combo, which is a gang made up from an state called Regent's Park in Cumberland Market. They linked up together and called themselves 51st due to their postcodes okay. being in NW1 and NW5, which is where the 5 and the 1 come from. And from the other That's side of the feud, we have a gang. So these are the ops of suspect right here. That's all I know. These are the ops of suspect. Gang, where some people may know from their songs, and they're from the Ager Grove estate in Camden. An active gang are affiliated with another gang called CT1 and NRB, which they all linked up and called themselves 71st. And just like that, the war was now on between 71st and 71st over this watch being stolen. So Camden is actually home to a big Somali. We got a whole gang war st started because of a freaking watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, a watch. I want y'all to really think about that. The things that people beef over nowadays is crazy, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I kind of understand to a certain degree. You know what I'm saying? It's not even necessarily the watch. It's the principle of the disrespect. I get that part. I get that part. But are we really just gonna a, a forget the fact that it's still over a watch at the end of the day? You know what I'm saying? Like, the principle is, already, the principle is disrespectful. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? You just gonna run up yo run up on me from my watch. Run you know what I'm saying? Get that. You gonna you know what I'm saying? Say boo games to my watch. Like, 
I ain't got, I get that part, but like, community. it's a With white, a big you know what I mean? of them residing in Ego Grove, which is the territory of the 71st gang. Such a big community that the majority of 71st members are actually Somalian. And if you watch one of my previous videos on Mali Street, Somalian are, people are- What are some of these masks? I'm listening to what he's saying, but this is so distracting, Ego Grove, bro. which is the territory- Some of these guys got the freaking clown mask on, it. ...of the 71st gang. Such a big community that the majority of 71st members are actually Somalian. And if you watch one of my Ugh. previous videos on Mali Street, Somalian people are people you don't want to be messing with, which you will understand more in this video. And this beef was on goal from early. In 2017, two members of the AG gang, which represents 71st, executed a triple shooting on three 51st members. Two of the members ran to a nearby hospital, but while hospital staff was treating the two members, they also called police to the hospital to investigate the situation. Once the two realized the police was called, they didn't even care about their treatment anymore and attempted to run out of the hospital while still having bullet wounds lodged in them but the police ended up detaining them and the bro these uk people are tripping right now i ain't gonna arresting lie they them tripping. after a struggle between the both the reason why in the hospital the was because you got, bull you got bullets attached to your you know what i'm saying your 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 upper body and you're over here worried about some ops outside <laughs> you know what i'm saying you got bullet you got a, a smooth five bullets a, a, a buck fifty Attached to your stomach, and you worried about, you know what I'm saying, some ops outside. That's kind of crazy, bro. Three That's members wild. were actually wanted for suspicion of grievous bodily harm, which all three were eventually arrested for. Now, of course, 51st weren't happy about this triple shooting, and they were trying to get it back in blood. So they went lurking on the Ager Grove estate and shot a rival in the face with a shotgun. The rival actually managed to survive and make his own way back to hospital. But this beef really kicked off in a situation that wasn't even. Bro, this is. Bro. Why? Wait. I still don't. I'm still not. I'm really still not fully understanding what's the point of this beef. You know what I'm saying? The watch. So that I guess when they seen each other's up from there. I guess I. I don't know. I'm, I'm not understanding the what's the point. So on February Honestly. 2017, a 16-year-old girl had an Airbnb party in Kensington, West London. You know those type of parties where a girl invites seven different types of gangs and asks people to leave their beef at home? Yeah, one of those. So at this party, there were people from all over London there. But a few uninvited guests tried to pull up to the party. One of these people being a boy from 51st called Dotty and his friend, who pulled up to the party with a gun and knife looking for trouble. But the night turned left for Dotty and his friends and ended up with Dotty being chased down by 20 young boys. And when the boys... Him, they stabbed him 30. 20 is crazy, bro. 20 young boys stabbed, went, ran down on my mans and stabbed them, bro. Dotty being chased down heck? by 20 young boys. And when the boys caught up to him, they stabbed him 13 times altogether. It actually resulted times. in Dotty dying, which four 16 year old boys from Hackney and Tottenham were sentenced and convicted. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna have to run that back. I don't think I fully understood what. I've been 13 said. times altogether. It actually resulted in Dotty dying, which four 16 year old boys from Hackney. He said 13 dying? Wait, 13 died? Is that what he just said? Wait. It actually resulted in Dotty dying, which four 16. 30 dying. 13. I've been 13 times altogether. Is it. Hold on. Dotty and his friend. He, D he died. I mean, okay. I thought he said 13. I was gonna say 13. He took thir he thir he took 13 of y'all out by himself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He might have lost his life in the end, but he really the one that won. I ain't gonna lie. Even though he lost, he still won. 13 versus 1, that's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna just keep it a buck. And but when the boys caught up to him, died. they stabbed him is that his name, Dirty? Together. Is that Why is his nickname Dirty, by the way? Is it because he just don't take baths, take, don't take showers? Alright, we just Dirty got dying, back to the video. Which four I'm sorry, 16 year old boys from Hackney <laughs> and Tottenham were sentenced and convicted for. So 51st were mad about this situation, obviously, that their member Dotty was just stabbed to death. So they were out trying to get revenge. By 20 so guys, they by, revenge that, by the way. Stolen BMW Over and travels all the or way from Camden in Northwest London to Hackney in East London and then to Tottenham in North London because that's where the people who killed Dotty were from. But they ended up finding no one from both areas. But they weren't trying to go home without spilling some blood first. So 51st went all the way back to Camden to look for 71st members and found an affiliate member of 71st called AK and killed him. But they weren't done there. They were riding they for a whole another two hours looking for more 71st members and found a the whole 71st two member hours, called bro. Mitch's little they, they itching to catch him. They itching. They've been feeling and itching to catch an AG, bro. Literally, but no. Is that right? It said there was 51 members, right? Two hours looking the for 51? more 71st members and found the 71st no, member. No, 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 no. They've been feeling it. Yeah. 
Yeah, they've been fin they've been uh finning the uh, itching to catch an AG, bro. Called Mitch. You know what I'm saying? Brother. Not YG, Mitch's but AG. Mitch's little brother attempted if to you know run into a know. cab and begged the driver to drive him to safety, but the driver refused to move, and he was dragged out of the cab and stabbed to death by 51st members. All within two hours of their first murder they committed that night, and six members were sentenced to life for these murders. Then on September 4th, 2017, a member from 51st called Flips and the older brother of the second boy who died that night called Mitch bumped into each other on Hampstead Road in Camden and started getting into a little altercation which ended with Flip stabbing Mitch in his arm, neck and back, leaving the knife lodged into Mitch's bones and murdering him. An undercover policeman just God, happened to bro. witness this whole situation and ran- This man really did it in front of the cops. He ain't got no chill, bro. It's already bad enough you stab him, my man. Piercing through his bones and stuff. But you're doing it in front of the cops too. He ain't got no chill, The policeman just bro. happened to witness this whole situation and ran down Phillips and arrested him. And now Phillips is serving 17 years to life for this murder. After this, the beef in Camden went under some serious investigation by police. Wow. And members from all sides started to get taken down for conspiracies, firearms and drug charges. And the beef started to die down a bit. But then 2019 hit, and quite a lot of the members that were locked up... Bro, all this started for a watch. I want y'all to remember this. You know what I'm saying? All this beef, all this deaths. 20 people jumped this one one dude, stabbed him to death for a watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy, bro. Bro, that's, that's wild. Started to come Some, out. Like, and taking into consideration that 51st members, just before everyone started going to prison and killed three 71st members, 71st members started coming out of prison on some demon time and were most definitely looking for revenge with no warnings. The first signs that 71st was really back was on a cold time, Tuesday in February. 1 a.m. in the morning, a 51st member called G Squeeze was walking past the Sainsbury's in Camden when a 4x4 crashed into him and several 71st members jumped out. Camden stabbing. Team left the life changing injuries after being run over by a 4x4 and stabbed in the head, bro. What? They running over they running people over with cars now? Bro, I remember that it reminded me that, that one dude, uh Shah G's, he had said uh something about if you lack and run them over. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm talking about. February. One no, a.m. Uh, in the morning, a 51st member called G Squeeze was walking past the Sainsbury's in Camden when a 4x4 crashed this is crazy, into him though. and several 71st members jumped out on him like a pack of wolves, stabbing him repeatedly in his head and body, leaving him literally paralyzed and not being able to walk. But that wasn't enough for 71st members. They wanted someone dead enough. for their friends. So on April 1st, 2019, a suspected member of 51st called C Miz and his cousin were walking down Grafton Road in Gospel Oak, Camden when four 71st members jumped out and stolen black car and started chasing them. C Miz and his cousin split up, but unfortunately the men who jumped out of the car locked on to C Miz, and C Miz ended up dropping to the ground when the 71st member started to stab him repeatedly with machetes and then run from God, the scene. God, bro. God. Bro, what's really worse, y'all? I gotta know. What's really worse? Uh, being chased by 20 or just, just, just matter of fact, just five people freaking machetes. What's worse? One person that's, you know what I'm saying, got a gun you know what I'm saying? That's not really trying to shoot it that much. I think the gun is more, 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 uh, more hard to deal with, to be honest. But like, it's vicious. It's just vicious. That's the part that's crazy. They might not have the guns that they might not be using guns like that over here. But the I'm hearing a lot of stabbings right here. A lot of people dying to freaking knives and machetes and stuff. That's a lot of stabbings right there. You know what I'm saying? That's that's kind of crazy, bro. Like, what the After heck? this murder, 71st members... Now, these are, these are some real savages. No, we're not talking about gangsters. They're not gangsters, bro. You can't put this on a tier with gangsters. These are what you call, like, serial killers. These are just many serial killers walking around on a daily basis. These are many King Vaughns. This type of stuff King Vaughn would have did. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna just keep it above. He made a song called Congo. And the reason why they called it Congo is because Seamus was actually a refugee from Congo after him and his family fled the war from over there. And members repeatedly in their songs say that they get their weed from Congo, not Cali. Pretty much just trying to say that they're smoking on Seamus. And as I said before, the majority. That's kind of. I ain't gonna lie. That's a very creative way of saying that. Everybody in New York just say, I'm smoking on who? I'm a soaking on yeah. I'm smoking on him. I'm smoking on huh? I'm smoking on everybody for real. Anybody, anybody, you know what I'm saying? Try to come out with, I'm smoking on your dad. But they, they came up with the most creative way of basically saying I'm smoking on your mans, bro. That's crazy. 
Hold on. Pretty much just trying to say that they're Somalians. It went off my head. And as I said before, the majority of these 71st members are Somalians. So after all this, there was news going about in Camden that 51st members were out on the lurk and any Somalian they see, they're killing. Heard some really strong intelligence that there was going to be revenge for Calvin's killing. And his friends are, have literally said they are going to go out and kill any Somali in retaliation so anybody I just that's that really clear. To this that. is from a young somali woman in camden who's 24 years old and um, basically they are basically we um strongly suspect they're going to go out tonight and kill a somali which is probably a bit of a stretch but on the other hand 71st members kept saying that they're warring with it is which is basically the somali word for west african people because you have to remember despite somalians being dark-skinned and african a lot of somalians don't really see themselves the same as other black people so this was kind of turned into a race war between Somalian and black people in Camden, which is just all wrong for so many reasons. But this 71st is, weren't happy crazy. enough with the killing of Seamiz. They wanted to spill more blood. So August 12th, 2019, they weren't happy, six bro. members died. They weren't happy enough with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? It ain't never enough. The until I feel satisfied, it's what I'm stopped. A stolen Ford stop. Fiesta and a stolen Sierra. The when they spot a 16-year-old culprit and other members coming out of a restaurant around 10:30 p.m., culprit and other members ran to a nearby set of blocks near Euston Road. But 71st members found them later on that night, and three members jumped out and chased them down, catching up to the 16-year-old 51st member called culprit. Culprit was running for his life and literally screaming for help, banging on neighbors' doors to let him in so he could escape his attackers. But when the 71st members caught up to him, two 71st members held him, while a third member repeatedly pushed a one foot long zombie killer knife through his chest. What, what the freak is this? Bro, imagine this coming into your skin, bro. Imagine this just, heck no, nah, bro. You know, you, you, you know he dead, bro. You know, I don't even have to listen to what he have to say. Look at this, bro. This is freaking, this that, uh, that freaking, uh, tension type of knife right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, if you don't talk about that, de that Demon Slayer type of knife right here. You know what I'm saying? Demon Slayer, that has a whole bunch of swords. But Tenjin, he had that type of weird sword where he was just stabbing folks with it. Bro, this that type of knife right here. What the freak? You know he dead, bro. I, I mean, we all we already knew that, but... Well, I still remember go, repeatedly RIP, pushed a one foot crazy. long zombie I know he did not survive chest, this. While it was coming out of his back. And when the 71st members were... It was coming out of his back. It, w it was pushed so hard, it was coming out of his back. Bro, what the freak? Oh my gosh, bro. They so vicious, bro. They so cold hearted, bro. What the heck? While a third member repeatedly pushed a one foot long zombie killer knife through his chest while it was coming out of his back. And when the 71st members were done, oh the killers were said gosh. to be running away after laughing hysterically, which is what bias that Laughing and Cobra, hysterically? He... After he got done doing that, he was laughing hysterically. Oh my gosh, we got the Joker on our hands in real life, man. I'm, I don't want to go to the... Nah. I mean, they, all, they got some good places in the UK. But this is just kind of crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, fr I mean, America's bad. Don't get me wrong. But, like, this is this is just crazy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the gangsters in America would not be able to survive this type of, this kind of war. Imagine if they had the kind of tools that America have, like the gun laws. Imagine how crazy they would be if they had more access. Imagine if they killing this many people with knives, machetes, freaking... I'm going to show y'all the knife again real quick, just so, just so y'all can remember. Because I feel like y'all might have forgot for some reason. I think y'all might have forgot. Where did that? Where that? Shoot. I done lost the knife. But y'all seeing the knife, though. That knife was crazy. I ain't going to lie. We just gonna go. We just gonna go back to it. But when the 71st members caught up to him, two 71st members held him while a third member repeatedly pushed a one foot this long the zombie killer. You know what I'm saying, I, bro? Imagine, bro. Imagine five people running up on you. You know, I mean, you, it's your ops. You running, but it's five people running at you with this kind of knife. Two, two on one. You know what I'm saying? One on one side, one on the other. Imagine they have ten of these aimed directly at you. Imagine that, bro. That That's already scary was enough. Coming out of his back. And then this man just psychotically freaking poked it through his chest, came out of his back, and left and laughed hy hysterically. 
<laughs> did the, did the, did the, the, the Joker laugh. And when oh the 71st God. members were done, the killers were said to be running away after laughing hysterically, which is what bystanders said. And culprit, he was just any normal kid from London. He was talented at football and even had trials for Southampton Football Club, but started getting involved in the local gang and brushed aside the football, never did and that, unfortunately became a victim of the streets. Now, as these back and forth normally go, 51st were now looking for revenge on their recent L's, and there were many stabbings across the month. And early on in September, there was a case of three killers in five days in Camden. One of these Three being days? a man from a completely different area. Three killings in five days? So they going on a killing spree now. They, you know what I'm saying? They take, they kill somebody, take a break. Kill somebody again, take a break. Then kill somebody again, bro. What the area heck? All the way in East London. But unfortunately, he was walking at the wrong place at the wrong time. So he was actually walking on Queen's Crescent Estate, Three which is a hotspot crazy, for 51st bro. members. What the heck? And was shot and killed in a drive-by, being mistaken for a 51st member. Just an hour before, another woman was stabbed to death just a few hundred yards from the situation. And four days now, later, a 71st doing? member called Nuts was stabbed to death by a gang of 51st members with machetes. Outside one of the busiest areas That's in shady, London, bro. Camden Tube Station. And for the longest, a lot of people didn't even know all this stuff was going on. Until a 71st member called Suspect started jumping on the drill scene, calling himself Oh, suspect. This is where this is where uh this is where I'm I'm more at right here, you know what I'm saying? I'm I didn't jump the whole lot of the of the lore apparently. I didn't jump the whole lot of the important stuff because all I know is apparently y'all told me that suspect killed two people and he's serving a life sentence for that. Suspect That's all I know. That's what I heard. Drosian, calling himself the Camden Grim Reaper and releasing some of the most Grim disrespectful Reaper, tunes towards his ops. So much that police take down pretty much any song that the gang uploads, which really started to bring some attention to what's happening down there and definitely got the attention of me. Especially a song from Suspect called Dugout, which is probably one of the most disrespectful songs I've ever heard and really makes you deep how tapped this whole beef is. In one of his lines, he says, Same place we used to play runouts, the same place his chest got dug out. Same place I was telling you. What the freak? This the same place we used to do what now? It's the same place the same place we used to play runouts. It's the same place his chest got dug out. Oh my god. Bro, no, they, they bro. New York I got none on none, bro. They different. The place, they are savages, bro. The place, savages. The same place I'm telling you come out. Which really makes you think, damn, these guys were close friends at one time. And now they're trying to kill each They were close friends at one point and they've just they, they was close friends at one time, and now they're just casually talking about the same place that his chest got dug out. Bro, that just, bro. Bro, that just sounds, that just sounds bro, crazy, All stemming from a little that small sounds that happened a couple to. years back. But anyway, guys, that's it for Low today's key. video. I ain't gonna and lie. Peace out. Wow, bro. Wow. That's all I'm finna say. I, I don't know, I don't know what else to say. Wow, I'm flabbergasted. That's all I can say. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that, I didn't know the game... Like, I didn't know Europe, New York, I didn't know the UK was getting down like that, bro. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I didn't know they was getting down like that. I knew they were nothing to play with. But I didn't know they was getting down like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, oof. It's way worse than I ever would have imagined, bro. I'm going to just keep it a buck. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments down below. You know what I'm saying? The deadly war between Camden, Active Game, 71st versus 51st. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments down below. If y'all enjoyed this video, y'all need to do, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below y'all thoughts, and comment down below what I need to react to next. I get to it ASAP. I've been doing the videos every day. Couple of the bands. I'm gone.